one uh, 235 meters with a production capacity of uh, 12 cubic meters. It's actually doing 11.5 cubic meters of water per hour. Uh, so that is enough to supply both the schools, the secondary school and the primary school. I'm excited to hear the secondary school will also be getting a borehole. So what that means is that uh, we have enough water for the community around here. Because it's not just the school that needs water. Uh, we have this community here. And I want to believe that the two boreholes then uh, will be able to service the two communities. We got to know its senior primary school uh, or to come to its senior primary school in July last year. And when they explained the challenges they were passing through, and by courtesy of our U.S. office, we got our first water bowser. We started tracking water here. And I was just asking Betty to check in our office how many trips we have made here uh, since July last year. And we have made 160 trips to this school. Every trip is 15,000 liters, and that's what the school used to buy at 10,000 shillings. So what it means is that uh, we have tracked water here worth 1.6 million during that period. That's 16,000 US dollars. That's what we have saved the school over that, that period. Today, we are celebrating the commissioning and the dedication of a permanent water source. So the problems of water in this area are solved, and the doctors, the engineers, the pilots who are studying in this school can attain their dream. That is what satisfies my heart. Because you are, a, you, are a, you are a great people in the making. Yes. The future members of parliament are here. Yeah. The doctors are here. Yeah. The pilots are here. Yeah. The engineers are here. Yeah. The water engineers for the future are also here. Yeah.